Howdy, Yuffle Juice. This is about the seventh time I've tried to record this video. I'm trying to get everything tight and um, under like five minutes, and it's a little bit of a struggle. I keep getting around three minutes. I want to keep it shorter than that because we're including videos this week. I mean, photos. Urgh. Anyway, I have a green screen behind me because um, I want it to be a little bit like, look, it's not quite as saturated as his, but it's, you know, getting the job done. Um, so, one, the theme is photos. So, I want you to take some photos um, of anything you like. I'm going to choose some artsy kind of things because that's how I that's how I roll and I'm probably going to use my sexy 400 Canon 400D SLR bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Don't have to be fancy or whatever like that. Point and shoots like the camera this is on. Like look at this beautiful sexy HD video. Yeah? Yeah? Take sexy photos as well but I didn't on on Tuesday I actually went out and did some photography so I'm going to choose those photos that I used for my SLR but um, if you just go out and Take some with any old iPhone camera, Blackberry, whatever, whatever you want. It can be fine. Just shove it in your video, talk about it. Maybe talk about them, have some narration, or just shove some music behind it. Whatever you want. Just inspire us with some photography, hey? Sounds pretty cool, huh? Um, and Rachel thought um, we should just skip this week and do the photography thing next week. But I like to keep my, I like to keep the video going every week. We skipped a couple of weeks around the. Um, the music video week and that made me sad so I want to keep I'm just going to do the photo everything this week I'm going to have a different theme in a couple of days on Tuesday and if you guys want to skip this week whatever that's fine um she sent an email about it that's more information about it lastly um we need a person for Monday because Monday has been very neglected and it's very sad and we're not doing seven days a week anymore especially the things like um Sarah not doing her videos and that kind of thing. She doesn't seem to be very enthusiastic about it much anymore either. Uh, don't know how to fix that. Um, I'm going to New York. I'll probably give her a little slap, that kind of thing. But um, I'm going to New York next week. And we were thinking things. We didn't get any responses anywhere from um, anyone wanting to be a Yaffle Juice, which I was surprised because like, hello, Yaffle Juice. Oh my god, amazing, awesome, miss. Um, I remember, remember Carlo, yeah, like awesome dude who with with Christina and yeah um we're thinking about choosing him for Monday because he was, did such an awesome bang up job and giddy up so I'm going to cut this now because I, I can't see the time I'm up to but I'm talking as fast as I can so I can get the photos in at the end here um phones are ringing and stuff uh but yeah so photography this week um Carlo uh we'll probably email you as well um but if you want to be yaffled yourself let us know and get more enthusiastic like Chris, and, and keep communication is key, okay? So Sarah, if you can't do this, if you can't do this week, can't do the next week, can't do the next week, maybe we should replace you, or maybe you should tell us that you can't do that week. Christina is amazing because she IMs me when she thinks she might not be able to get it up on time on her day and that kind of thing. She might be able to do it like the next day or something like that. She IMs me. Email is fine. Twitter DMs is fine. Just let us know what's going on so that we're not in the cloud going what the hell is going on because it's very frustrating and no one even asked me why I hadn't put up a theme this week or anything like that enthusiasm it doesn't seem to be there communication is key show me some sexy photos and try not to crash all the pots everywhere so we went to the botanic gardens this is the first photo I took um, pretty you know even exposure and everything like that just some flowers pretty pretty and this is uh, you know Shallow dip the field. It kind of looks like a miniature artichoke, but I don't. It's just some plant that flowers, I believe. Um, and also, none of these are edited. These are all raw from the camera. This is Rachel taking a similar photo to what I had that last one. You know, the one eye closed, that kind of fun stuff. I found this really cool lizard as well on the on a tree. You know, this is nice. I, I like my bokeh going on. But uh, yeah, he was green on the plant to the right there, and then he went to the tree and went brown. And you'll see, like, he's got a bit of... This is when he was mixing. He actually went really brown because he was on the tree from a really bright green. It was pretty awesome stuff. He is a lovely leaf sprouting from a tree. You know, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, I'm going to have all of these photos on Flickr at some point. I'll link them up in the video once they are. Because, um, you know, you might want to be interested in taking some photos of beautiful sunny looking flowers and things like that. I mean this was one of my favorites. I think you could make this as a wallpaper pretty nicely. And then there was some like lavender kind of plants when the spider and the bokeh behind the spider is just 
ravishing. Um, he's he was sitting there and like he was this big long tunnel of lavender, and I was kind of just shooting through it. Um, I got I got a really close shot with uh, Rachel's three hundred minimal three hundred millimeter lens. It was that lens is pretty nice stuff. If you want to get nice and close, I don't think it's quite sharp, but you know there's a little sun rays and everything in there, and not there. There were shadows and stuff all over the grass. You don't really see it that much here. I mean, you can see a bit of shadow in the foreground, but um, it's uh, got some nice sunlight and stuff going on it. And then there was a tree next to uh, the grass there, and I took the tree and sky. That's also a nice, a nice wallpaper kind of shot. Right there, that kind of looks like maple leaves, but um, I don't think it is. And oh, <laughs> these guys. Um, yeah, they hit their pants down a little bit past their butts, and I just thought I'd take a photo. It's not focused correctly or anything, but the youth these days, golly gosh. <laughs> Speaking of the youth these days, um, Rachel and I took some photos of each other. You can see up the, uh, I should really like do a screen cast kind of thing of this, but the top right there, there's some bokeh in a circle kind of thing, and then, you know, we're just taking headshots of each other. This is quite a shallow depth of field on this one as well, just... Scrolling through the hair, I, I'm not sure if it'll, it should look pretty decent quality on this export, it doesn't look very good in the preview here, but you can see the reflex, reflection of my Converse chucks in the, the glasses there, Rachel pulling a little bit of her face, silly duffer, and beautiful me of course, um, you know, closed the aperture a little bit, got some little sparkles in the background, a cheesy smile with the Viddler shirt on it. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good looking guy. I, I was doing some frolicking. See my camera there, a little Viddler logo everywhere. My hair is just ravishing as well. It's just flying through the air and everything. You can see I don't get too airborne on this one, but you know, it gets the job done. Finally, this little tulip one kind of thing sticking out of these lily pads. Beautiful stuff. If you enjoyed this, check out the Flickr and everything. I'll have uh, links in the sidebar.